What's going on everybody? This is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out five new free tweaks for iOS 11 for April 2018. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have Color My CC Modules. This tweak will allow you to colorize the elements within the control center. So as you can see right here, I changed it to blue. And it just goes for a nice hint of customization. It also works inside the expanded view just like this, as you can see, for the different elements. So uh, again, just adds a nice touch of customization to your control center. So to set this up, you just want to hop over to Settings, and then go into Color My CC Modules, and then you could choose the color. So you just tap here, and you just choose the color that you want. And once you choose your color, just go ahead and scroll down here and select Respring, and the changes will take in effect. Color My Battery will change the color of your battery indicator depending on the battery level of your device. So as you can see right there, I have a purple indicator right now, and my device is at 57%. So if we go ahead and jump over to Settings, we can go into Color My Battery, and then down here we have the different color configurations for different battery levels. So as you can see, it starts with 0 to 10%, and then we have 11 to 20%, and so on. So as you can see right there, my battery indicator is currently purple because I'm at 57%. And as you can see right there, from 51 to 60, it's set to a purple color. Now, if you go ahead and tap on any of these options, you could change the color to whatever you want. Uh, this current setup right here is just what the tweak comes with by default. But again, you could change them to whatever you want. And of course, once you make changes, just go ahead and slide down and select Respring. So it's definitely a nice tweak to you know, have a visual battery indicator with. Real CC fixes one of the most annoying things about the iOS 11 control center. So normally in iOS 11, when you go ahead and tap to disable the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles, it will only temporarily disable them. It won't actually turn them off as if you went into settings. However, with Real CC, as you can see right there, if I go ahead and disable them, it actually turns them off. You can see by the line through them, indicating that they're actually off. And if I, and if I go into settings, you can see they're actually disabled. And of course, we can re-enable them again through here. They're on. Then again, if I turn them off through the control center, they're actually disabled. So uh, once again, it's called Real CC. Video HUD removes the obtrusive volume HUD that comes up when you adjust your ringer or media volume and replaces it with a very minimal indicator that's going to show up in the upper right hand corner, as you can see right here. So it works for the ringer volume, as you can see it's indicated by that little bell icon there, and it's also going to work for media volume, and this is actually inspired by the iOS 11 stock video players HUD that shows up when you adjust volume when you're watching a video, so it definitely fits very well into iOS. Now once again it also works for you know media volume, so when you're listening to music or listening to a podcast, it's also going to work for that, as you can see the uh, indicator changes to that little speaker there you can see when you're adjusting media volume. So this is definitely so much better than the way that iOS performs by default, in my opinion. I mean, why is it that adjusting the volume has to interrupt our content? So once again, the tweak is called Video HUD. Next up, we have Notif. Now, this tweak makes it so your unread notifications will always show up on your lock screen. So normally in iOS, basically how it works is once you receive a notification on the lock screen and then you unlock your device, that notification will no longer show up on the lock screen. It's only going to show up in the notification center area when you swipe down from the top of the screen. However, with this tweak, Basically, all on notifications will always show up on the lock screen. So as you can see right here, if I lock my device, you can see as though those notifications are going to be sitting on the lock screen, and they're not going to go away until I either open up the notifications or dismiss them. So basically, this is just the same exact behavior that the Notification Center has in iOS 11, but this tweak brings that same behavior to the lock screen. So this is great if you find yourself forgetting about notifications often, because, of course, whenever you go to your lock screen, you're going to see these notifications until you either dismiss them or open them up. So this tweak's definitely a good way to remind yourself that you do have unread notifications. And once again, if I go ahead and open up the notifications or just clear them, you can see when I go back to the lock screen now, they're not going to show up here. And the same thing with the notification center, as you can see. So once again, this tweak's called Notif. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.